Hello everyone, and welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops um, gameplay by me. Basically, yeah. Um, one second, I gotta set up my options here. A safe area. Alright, anyways, um, yeah. I thought instead this time I might actually do a free for all. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first I gotta set up my classes and stuff. I've noticed that I haven't set anything up yet really besides that uh one starter thing. So we're gonna have it the mods with a dual mag as a different class. Um and basically that's basically it. We're going to also have ourselves a nice little knife class. Well, more of a knife class. But, um, we can't do that quite yet, not until level 15, so next level. So, um, we're also going to buy ourselves a tactical grenade, not a tactical, a lethal grenade right here for the tomahawk. So basically, yeah. I'm going to stick to these two classes for now, for this next level. Um, but yeah, I might actually try to record uh, two matches this time. So we're gonna have twenty thousand, I mean five thousand and twenty minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna change the map uh, over to Nuketown. Uh, <sighs> yep, but old Coca-Cola. So let's um let's start off this match. Again, this is live commentary. And yeah. Weapon free. Probably will go on rambling a lot because that's what I do. When I'm in live commentaries or even when I'm pretending to do them for practice something, um, I tend to ramble on about the same thing for about two minutes every time. You get what I mean. Um, you should get what I mean if you've watched any of the other videos in this series. I rambled on about, about well, a couple times for about a minute or two. Um, I don't really do it too often, but yeah. I do ramble. I do tend to ramble. Uh, anyways. Feeling sort of like Fiend Anders at the moment, kind of sad or something. And, um, you're probably asking, hmm? Why would Fiend Anders seem sad? You get, if you've seen his last video, which, yes, he actually posted a video for one. Um, although I shouldn't be talking because that's kind of stereotypical. Or, no, uh, not, not stereotypical. That's hypocritical. Because I always fucking, I never post fucking videos at all. Um, look out! <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is, for, uh, this is a series that I won't be posting now. Now, if I've made it this far in the series, I'm half surprised myself. And I can man. Uh, if I can't, if I can make it to this far in the series, I can keep going. No, I think I'll stick with this, actually. Hmm. 
I might like to talk about it at the current moment. Um, during this commentary, because I did just have another commentary on Team Fortress 2. Um, if that makes it up onto YouTube, I will be linking you right about here. Uh, free for all out of this entire series, and I'm hoping to have many more of these free for alls that are sort of like this, you know, fast paced, um, a whole lot of enemies. I'm still not sure if this or the other one's harder, because in this, everyone's looking for me, but they're also looking for each other, and it's possible for a bot to stop me, but highly, highly unlikely. And motherfucker. Oh, wait. The bot's going after a care pack. Well, I'll use that distraction to sort of mine down, first of all. I think I'll pick up my care package before um, dropping up my, uh, my helicopter, though. And I guess I'll use this care package, too. The main reason I wanted to pick it up is in case it was something decent. I did not want any of the bots stealing it off me. So anyways, we're just gonna... Um, about there. I'm gonna aim to get up here. So, yeah. Okay, no mind. Carry on the way. I think it's about time that I change my uh, my sensitivity a little bit. Pick it up a bit. Maybe one or two things should do. I don't want it to go too far up, but I don't want it to be too low. Like, it is, I've noticed that lately, in kill streaks, especially, it's gonna be slow. Like, um, it's fine in uh, regular gameplay. I fucking love this, uh, this particular sensitivity in regular gameplay. When, when I'm controlling a kill streak like this, it's not that good. Sweet, headshot. Care package ready for direction. Show us where you want it. Care package ready for delivery. Mark the DC. <clears throat> now apparently, when you're up on top of the swing set, it's impossible for the box to hit. I'm not sure how you get up there though. Oh my god. But once I actually gotten up there, or onto the thing that leads to me being up there. Okay. Fuck. Oh yeah. I, now I remember what you need to do. First of all, jump. You need to crouch jump, but you need to do it properly. I'm going to have a harder time getting up here. I guess this gives the boss a chance to catch it. Oh, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. 
What the fuck? Oh wow, that's fucking stupid. I thought the bot, uh, I thought the bot like spawned next to me. So I'm gonna try to fit two matches into this one. So basically, it'll be like more like episode three and four mixed together. Cause you know what, I feel I have a feeling that playing two matches in a row would actually be a lot better. And I just wasted like 20 of uh, black clip. So. Oh, I just realized the scavenger bags actually pick up one whole clip for you. At least I think they're supposed to. I'll just toast. I'll just get in the next episode sooner or later. Um, later today, actually, in a couple of minutes. So I'll see you guys next time.